This is a tutorial on how to use virtual computers. <laughs> One uh, such a program is a virtual box, which I'm starting right now. This program actually simulates another computer inside your computer. So if I click the new button, I uh, have the opportunity to set up a new uh, configuration of a computer and uh, let's say I want to install the new Windows 8.1 so I'm typing it in a name let's say Windows 8.1 and it automatically recognizes uh, from the name you typed, typed in that what uh, operating system you want to install it's a Windows operating system and it's 8.1 let's select 64-bit uh, because that one I want to install uh, here's the image file the ISO file of that image and uh, let's click the next button here I can set the new virtual computers uh, memory how much RAM will it use since I have 4 gigabytes of memory I don't want to use too much from that, let's say 1.5 gigabytes, it's enough. So 1.5 gigabytes of memory will have the virtual computer. Click the next button. Here on this screen you can select or create the hard drive of the virtual computer. Uh, for example, I'm creating a new virtual hard drive click the create button here are the formats uh, which we uh, can use as a hard drive if uh, you use VHD this one it's uh, recognized by Windows itself because Windows 7 or Windows 8 can run also from VHD files instead of uh, uh, traditional partitions okay let's stick with the original one uh, VDI so the hard disk of the virtual computer will be inside a VDI extension file okay click the next button the size of the uh, virtual hard drive can be dynamic or fixed sized if you click on fixed size then all the uh, all the size all the size of the hard drive let's say if you choose 25 gigabytes all that 25 gigabyte will be created at once if you choose dynamically allocated uh, size then it will be uh, increased the files size will increase only then if you add files or folders to that uh, new hard drive so I select dynamic because this type uh, it will be slower uh, not slower uh, smaller click next here's the size of the virtual hard drive let's uh, whatever 30 okay it's good enough here we can select the path where that virtual hard drive will be stored I'm uh, selecting another hard drive uh, on the first one it's my windows on the large one I make the storage and uh, here on this large hard drive it's uh, the source file, the ISO file also so I'm selecting as a virtual hard drive another hard drive so it won't be uh, too used I'm saving it there on that partition and it will be with that size click create and now I have a virtual computer set up this is the computer with these settings it will have audio card it will have a, a hard drive another virtual display driver will be given to it and you can even uh, customize these settings of this virtual computer for example a general if you want to share the clipboard that's drag and drop 
a description okay you can choose the memory if you want to use a floppy drive a cd drive or the network since i don't have a floppy i'm not checking it okay processor how much uh, how many cores uh, should the virtual computer use since i have a six core cpu in this computer i can set it to use all those six cores or if i prefer not to use so many resources i can uh, pull it to the left or how much in percents uh, will be used acceleration this is the processor's features uh, video memory how much memory should the virtual computer use 2d and 3d acceleration also let's check those okay storage this is the hard drive here, here you can create additional virtual hard drives to uh, attach it audio the audio card it will be a simulated one network you can also use uh, internet in the virtual computer ports usb and the share folder share folders is for uh, sharing a file or folder or whole partition from this uh, the ho operating system the hosting operating system and the virtual computer to, so to share files and folders between the main computer and the virtual computer okay click ok and here with the start button we can start the virtual computer so this is like uh, starting your main computer okay since I don't let's minimize it since I don't have um, operating system installed into the virtual computer yet I have this option from where to install one and I'm selecting from the desktop the ISO file and it will simulate uh, virtual DVD ROM or CD ROM installed onto into this virtual computer so it will boot from this ISO file okay this colored fishy is the new logo or startup screen of Windows 8.1 because I'm installing that one right now Windows 8.1 it's moving kinda slow slowly let's see in task manager it's some uh, something is very slow here CPU usage ok ok mouse pointer integration ok uh, click ok so if you notice the mouse cursor is inside the virtual computer and I can pull it out so I have this cursor and this cursor in all the versions of uh, virtual uh, box uh, you had to install another uh, this one guest additions and only then you could uh, pull your mouse cursor out from the window okay so, I, so I'm clicking next to install the new version of Windows and install setup is starting ok I introduced the serial number which is uh, downloadable for free on the Microsoft web website custom on that uh, 32 gigabyte of hard drive so this is the virtual hard drive space which I selected when I configured the program settings storage oh, it's not visible oh it's, it's here 32 gigabytes okay 
install it on that one next and installation begins okay so while uh, uh, the windows 8.1 is installing i have this uh, window which contains the virtual computers uh, uh, desktop or files and the windows and uh, I can even minimize that window and work on the main computer and I can click this X button and I have this these options save the machine state this is like hibernation or uh, sleep mode but uh, uh, you can use it all the time so you can put your computer to sleep or hibernate even uh, when an installation is uh, going on and you don't have an installed operating system yet send the power signal shut down power signal uh, you will try to shut down the whole computer and power out the machine will mean i mean it's like pulling out your computer from the wall from the wall socket that means total power interruption so I want to save the machine state and the content of the memory will be stored in a file and after I close this window and uh, start the computer again this uh, content from the file will be restored from the memory and you can use the computer let's see in test manager come on at memory the memory usage should drop significantly because here it is because the virtual pc is not using that amount of memory so uh, in order to uh, install more operating systems in the same time and use your host operating system also you have to use I mean you have to have enough memory this computer has 4 gigabytes so I'm starting the virtual computer it will automatically use more memory it's restoring the content of the memory from the file into the physical RAM and you can see that it's uh, climbing up the memory usage and restoration it's almost finished and Windows should continue installing and it is installing the percentage is getting higher okay that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.